<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, or if you forgot who I was in these like two months, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for all of the shenanigans taking place here. Um, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. So just a brief rundown, because I know people are gonna be like, oh, where have you been? Or maybe you're not, you don't care, you just wanna see what's going on in the video. But anyway, brief little rundown. Um, the last time I posted a video, it was two months ago. However, the last time I sat down and recorded a video was mid-July, second week of July, because it was before I got those lemonade braids. So the last time I recorded a video was in July, which is almost three months. By the time you're seeing it, it's been three months. So it's been a long time. I've been trying to get my life together um, and be a better human overall. I've been super busy, like busy working every single day. Um, yeah, and I just have not been in the right headspace, so I didn't think uh, it would be good to get on here and just record something subpar and just put out stuff and be in a bad mood. So, <laughs> I'm in a really good mood today. As you guys can tell, I'm really cheesy. Um, and today I got time cuz. <laughs> I'm so hyper right now. Um, but yeah, as you guys can tell from the title, this is an unboxing. It's a delayed unboxing. This is my August Onyx Box unboxing. If you guys have not seen any of my previous unboxings, then I'll make sure that I link one on screen up above somewhere. You will see something taking you to a previous video. So as always, it comes in this purple box and it says curated with your melanin in mind. And I'm well aware that the title says that this is the August box and we are in the second week of October. Um, However, I really don't care, to be honest. <laughs> when you open up the box, you do get a little information card from Lolita, Lolia, Lolia. And then it says, enjoy $10 off your next Lolia purchase of $50 or more, and it gives a coupon code. And then the information card this month looks like this. You have this beautiful chocolate girl in this uh, turquoise halter neck top with some sunglasses. It says, endless summer. Cheers to the last days of summer with a proper beauty routine. We've equipped you with the essentials to keep your summer glow forever flawless. Although the summer is on its way out, the art of slaying remains endless. So as always, it lists all the things that you're gonna get in your subscription box on the back, as well as prices for each of those items. When you open it up, you have this purple tissue paper and on the sticker it says, welcome to the queendom. The first thing in this month's box is from Lange Hair. It is a replenishing conditioning spray. This feels pretty heavy. I think this might be a full size product. Um, and this retails for $19. On the information card, it says, give your hair a new life with this lightweight leave-in detangler. Aloe, chamomile, sage, and lemon balm soothe and moisturize the hair. UV protectant helps color from fading. I do not have color-treated hair, however, it's always good to have detangling products. I don't personally use detangling products. I don't incorporate them into my everyday routine. I just detangle as normal. Um, so we'll see if I have a lot less shedding with a detangling product. Next is this Uplift Herbal Fast Steam, and this is from Pawilbin. A full-size product does retail for $15. Once again, I'm not sure if this is a full-size product or if this is just a deluxe sample. Used all your vacation days, let Pawilbin take you to a state of calm. Place this natural face steam in a bowl of warm water and let the balancing blend of herbs and flowers do the rest. And then on the front of the packaging, it just says that it has spearmint, eucalyptus, peppermint, rosemary, jasmine, fennel, larkspur, rose petals, juniper berries, and it's 100% vegan. So realistically, I'm probably gonna do this tonight because I have not worn makeup in the last three months. I've only worn makeup once and it was for something school related, but I have not worn makeup other than one other time in three months. So my face is probably gonna go buck wild <laughs> as soon as I take this makeup off. So I'm gonna probably do this tonight. Next is a smear proof lip pencil from Sorbet. As you guys can see, this is a full size product and it does retail for $14. The color that I got was number nine burgundy. This is what it looks like swatch on the back of my hand. It's a beautiful berry tone color. And it does say on the information card that it is smear proof. However, just gently rubbing like that. And you guys can say, see that it's um, smearing. Next is this hand cream from Lolia. A full size of this product does retail for $7.50. I'm not sure if I said this, this is the scent at last, but it says in the lotion it has white petals and rice flour shea butter hand cream. So as the name suggests, it just has a very light floral scent. I don't like floral scents typically because they remind me of, two, they just smell like old lady perfume. However, this is a very light, 
um, clean scent. It's not, it's nothing too heavy. And then the final thing is from Klee Cosmetics. This is a melting lip powder. Pretty sure this is a full size product and it does retail for $19.99. On the information card, it says warm days and long nights call for effortless glam. Gently build the color on your lips for an all day popsicle stain pout. Try also as a blush or an eyeshadow. So you get three triple threat for $20. So I was about to say, this is really small for $20. However, if you can use it as that many things, then it, the price might be justified. We're gonna try it out. I'm only gonna try it on my lips because I have Aquaphor on right now and I really don't feel like taking off my glasses. <laughs> um, and I already have blush on. So we're gonna try it on the lips. And when you take it out, it does have a doe foot applicator as you can see that should make applying this powder easier. I think this wand is wet. So I'm done applying it and I actually do like this. It looks more red on me than it does pink. The only thing that I will say is I kind of wish that the um, opening was a little bit wider so that you can get out more product in a quicker time frame because I feel like this is just going to take too long. It's too time consuming. However, I like it. It looks good. Um, yeah, it just, I mean, it looks more red on me than pink, but it's subtle. Yeah. I'm gonna take this off because I don't want it to stay in my lips, but I do like it. It looks good to me. I like it. So um, I'll have to try it out as a blush and as an eyeshadow. Those I'm more skeptical than the lipstick. The shade that I got was Red Cherry if you guys do want to test this out, but I like it. I think it looks good. So you guys, that is all. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing, even though it was two months late, better late than never. Um, and yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Trying to visualize how to get it right when my vision so blurry. Trying to slow it down, stay close to the ground, but we're always in a hurry now. And if I